for the longest of time because why are you here? <laughs> go, go to Anna. Go to go to Pita first. Okay. Um. The reason why uh, we're here or we're celebrating, uh, or because, or the reason why I will be doing this, is because there are people who are already affected. You know, last year everything happened. I kept quiet for four months before coming coming up with what we have as documents, and more will be more will be coming up after this. Actually, I already talked to the social media team, and my social media team will be coming up with our. Uh, YouTube, uh, what's that, Eric? YouTube something, Channel. wherein we will narrate blow per blow why we own Mr. International. Um, if it's just me, I can take it. But, you know, Tito Norman being hit, next will be a mere joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, the question really is, who owns, let's go first to Mr. International Philippines. Mr. International Philippines is owned by us. It's registered here in the Philippines. And we have a document to support that. Um, I have with me the registration of Mr. International Philippines down to its business permit. So they were saying we didn't register the trademark. That is another issue yes. that will be answered in another forum. But so far as ownership of Mr. International Philippines is concerned, Pradit does not own it, we own it. It belongs to us. What they are doing is hacking the accounts. I mean, imagine 20 franchises down saying that they own it. They don't own Mr. International Philippines. It is us who own Mr. International Philippines down to business permit level. Now, let's go to Mr. International. If you need the documents, I will make it available. Aleya will make it available. Aleya, it's with you, ha? Huh? Next, for Mr. International. You know, this issue has been here for the longest of time. You know, they were saying that we don't own Mr. International, they own Mr. International. This guy owns Mr. International. Who knows? There are three owners of Mr. International who's claiming it, to be honest with you. You only see two, but there's another one who's claiming Mr. International. And that person is with us because they believe in the vision that we have. So who owns Mr. International? We've registered here Mr. International Philippines. Truth be told, they registered it also in Thailand last October 31, 2022. But the thing is, even though he registers it there, who owns Mr. International? Who has the document that authenticates the ownership of Mr. International? It's with us. And if you need a proof, we will be coming up with another press conference to lay it down. Uh, we're still thinking if it will be through a YouTube channel or we will be calling you guys for you to see right in your face. So, Mr. International, they cannot say that we're copying it because we register it also here in the Philippines. It's fully registered. Aside from that, the purpose is very specific for Mr. International. To engage in the business of organizing, hosting, conducting, staging, mail pageants, and to enter into agreements to issue licenses, sub-licenses, franchises, some franchises or special authorities to grant local, international entities, whether domestic or foreign, natural or juridical, granting the same the authority to organize, host, conduct, stage mail pageants. We own Mr. International Philippines. Uh, Mr. International. So, what is this thing that they are doing? You know, I came to this point that I don't care anymore who has the bigger media, who, who owns this, who owns that. I was telling Amir, Amir was telling me, oh, we need the social media. I was thinking about it, and I came to realize, 1974, there's no Miss Universe, but still, it's the most successful beauty competition. Not because they own the social media, but because they have the purpose for which they stand for. And that's what Mr. International and Mr. International Philippines is for. 
we have things that we stand for. Now, Hello. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, these things we cannot sugarcoat anymore, right? This, sh this thing should be out in the open. When did they um, flag my account? When I delivered a message in TikTok, which I am only experimenting on. Because I haven't been to TikTok. And I was telling Eric, Eric, can you have TikTok? Luca is the one who fixed it. Oh, let's invite everyone for Mr. International. The following day, it was my Facebook. And then after three days, it was my Instagram. Um, I had a message from Instagram saying that I did not violate any community standard. And then today, I violated again a community standard. I don't know where this is coming from, you know, but to my mind, Mr. International is here to stay. Yes, I had thoughts about it, whether to discontinue Mr. International, but especially when, when other people are being hit, diba? Parang they have they have their own social media that, that has been their uh, means for leaving, and then you will just shut it down for the simple reason that you don't want the world to know our message. Well, I will keep on I will keep on speaking and I will keep on telling our message. The other confidential matters I won't be able to discuss, but I think it's the lawyer of Mr. International and Mr. International Philippines with is the one that will be discussing it with you. Yun lang on that aspect. So just to settle the matter because it really pains me. Imagine Norman Tino, you will take out his page? I mean, what kind of conscience do you have? Are you still a human being? Which I'm thinking of, you're not. So imagine that. Imagine also, how many of you guys will be sharing Mr. International 15th edition? And then you will also be flagged. Precisely because you hired someone who will flag us. Don't. I mean, I won't mean words. It's not Facebook. You hired someone who will flag in report saying that we're violating copyright infringement. Of course, the Facebook will do the thing and all that. Accounts will be shut down. But I think it has to end. As to the legal matters that we are doing, we will be giving you more information about it. Um... So can we relax? <laughs> it just it just ticks me off that even Tito Normantino, who's been an institution, who's been helping people understand what pageantry is all about, understand empowerment, understand advocacy, you will report for copyright infringement, uh, for trademark infringement, that you don't even have a trademark to speak of. What trademark did you register? Because the narrative that they are saying is that we do not have the trademark, that's why we are being down. No, we are being down because we are being hacked. And th th that's the thing. You tell a lie, you cover it with something, then it becomes reality. You know, the good thing about Mr. International is we have our people intact. We have our provincial directors who's believing the cause. None of them has social media page, right? But still, they're preparing for the next edition, for the 2024 edition of Mr. International. We have national directors. Imagine Cres Olmo of Spain. Flood down. By who? Our Mr. International from US. Flood down by Facebook? Who else? Um... We have different national directors. Now, we're very careful of introducing our candidates because, you know, once we introduce them, their, their, their social media platform will be the next target. So please bear with us as we slowly unfold who the candidates are for Mr. International 15th edition. Going back to my speech, um, you know, as Amir said, what we're doing, what what we did yesterday, uh, what we did last year, we just had uh, we just had Jollibee, and we ate and we planned for for the next things that we do. 
Now that it's my birthday, I wish to thank everyone who walked and journeyed with us and with me for the past year. Thank you so much to our media friends. We really dedicate this to you. Much of you, much of the side you know about me is all about Mr. International. But mind you, I have a life out of it. Um, but the past year, I am so fix fixated with Mr. International, not because of fame, glory, or what others want out of it. I am fixated with it because of the impact it can bring to communities, cities, provinces, and of course, the nations. They were telling that the reason why I am with Mr. International is because of money. We're not earning from Mr. International. No one's earning from Mr. International. No one. The reason why we are here is because our direction is clear. We will empower men so they can inspire the next generation. Our end in sight is the next generation. To make it clear, I am fighting for Mr. International because I take the next generation seriously. But for them, these words are hollow. Does it make sense? It makes sense to me. I have an option to bow out, but every time I think about the end in sight, it gives me the strength, courage, and internal fortitude to continue. There is no letting up. There is no giving up. It will unfold as the weeks go by and everyone will know the real Mr. International story. Despite account hackings, there are intangibles that they cannot hack. That is the determination of the whole Mr. International team to stage the 15th edition here in Manila. We will hold it in Manila October 8 to 20 of this year. International directors are signing up. A new Mr. International community is being formed not based on horse trading, compromise, mutual benefit, but being aligned with the same principles, values, and vision. I think the, I want to thank the Mr. International 2022, Mr. Lucanan Mayum. He is the real Mr. International 2022. As they said, our vision will be tested by opposition, and the more it's put to the test, the more I can say that the fire is burning brighter and stronger. Our resolve is getting more steadfast. Mr. International will continue to happen under my watch. I ask all of you to help us reach the world to communicate this message that Mr. International under our hands will be able to achieve things that they were not able to imagine. Because Mr. International is more than pageantry. Going two years in running this despite opposition gave us the platform to catapult the winners at least to the path of where they are called. In the next few weeks, you will see what we mean. On a personal note, I would like to thank each one in this room. Thank you so much for journeying with us. You've been with us. You know, when, when, when the news broke out, when the, when the pages are down, when we don't know how to start, you know, you will just put up a page and then it will be flat down. And I said, enough of the pages for now. To the President of Mr. International Philippines, Mr. Amir Gamama, thank you for being with me in making sure our aspirations for male competition will become reality. We are making a dent, I believe, and we will continue to do so. To the Director of Communications, Tito Norman, you never failed to encourage us. Thank you for being, for being like a father to all of us. Tito Norman is one of the most prolific um, pageant media that I know of. But because of whims and caprice of someone, his page was taken down. To the national directors of Mr. International around the world, we have a lot. Thank you for holding the fort. Thank you for not giving, giving up despite the challenges and adversity trying to displace you by other side. I was talking to some of the national directors and they were saying, even though their, their um, pages were flagged, they were telling me 110% we are with you. Your continuous devotion and encouragement despite the opposition is giving me more strength to fight for what is right and gain our recognition soon. 
Mind you, I am a lawyer by profession. I know a losing case. If we are in such predicament, I won't take this fight this far. To the PDs, Provincial Directors, City Directors of MIPH, we have risen from ashes last year. You know what we've gone through last year. As we link together, we will overcome this challenge. What makes us strong as an organization is our devotion and dedication to realize the vision. To empower men so they can inspire the next generation, all else would have to give way. For the last couple of weeks, I shifted gears from being a lawyer to an IT and understand how technology works. There is too much of technicality that I refuse to proceed in my attempt to understand. Our ranks are growing from Latin America to Europe, from Africa to Asia, and even Oceania. We have men who believe in our cause. History will show us that persecuted movements grow, grow and grow bigger. That's where we are heading. MI and MIPH together with all the Mr. International organizations under our fold will continue to grow and we will triumph. But there is one thing I learned throughout the process. No amount of hacking can dampen my spirit. No amount of false narrative will make me cave in or surrender. Mr. International under my leadership will continue despite the challenges. See you on October 8 to 20 to celebrate once again the 15th Mr. International. We will let the legacy continue and the tradition live on. So my media friends, be with us on the 15th edition of Mr. International. Thank you so much.